The solution to everything is the solution to anything. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 258. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 258, March 4th, 2018 edition. Today's topic, the solution to everything is the solution to anything. What the heck does that mean? The solution to everything is the solution to anything. Well, if you have the solution to everything, it would be the solution to anything. And uh, as crazy as it sounds, we really think that sustainable infrastructure and open source teacher demonstration hubs are the solution to everything. We think that we can simultaneously address all of the challenges, the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through our model. And the way that we're doing that is through open source and free share tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for what we call highest good living. And highest good living models are models that are sustainable, self-replicating, and for the highest good of all life on this planet. They're self-replicating because they're designed to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that the ideas will spread as own. And this is a big deal if we're looking for the solution to everything that is also going to be a solution to anything. But more specifically, our idea is through designing and developing seven different sustainable village models and building everything that we're creating so that it can be implemented as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration hubs and designing them so that they include all aspects of the foundations of a sustainable civilization and not just sustainable infrastructure. We've got that, food, energy, and housing, but also sustainable emotional foundations, which we've identified as highest good economics, highest good education models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship putting these things together as a complete model, a new way of living that we think most people will consider to be far superior to the way they're living right now. And it's all designed with highest good consciousness. Like the idea is to do the best that we can to create for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet and to open source and free share that so that the idea will spread on its own. And if you run the numbers on this, if a group of 50, if our initial group of 50 people builds one community, and that one community build, as we start to build it, inspires and open source and free share all the tools, tutorials, and resources, the detailed instructions for replication, so that the guesswork is all taken out. And we have put well over 100,000 hours into that. We've had over 300 volunteers help us at this point to, the, to get to where we are right now. And we're designing all the detailed instructions and step-by-step -step tutorials to be able to replicate everything that we're doing so people will be able to build a teacher demonstration hub, an eco-village, uh, sustainable uh, sustainability hub, teacher demonstration hub that will teach others how to build it as well, following our instructions. And if we can create this, and if that motivates two more groups to start something like this in the following year, and if the three groups then, our group and those two groups, motivate four more groups, and then if that group motivates eight more the following year, and then 16 the year after that, and 32 the year after that, and 64 the year after that, and so on and so forth. If you do that for 30 years, we will touch the lives, positively impact the lives of everybody on our planet. Everyone could participate if they wanted to. And everybody doesn't need to. We're really working towards that tipping point so that we achieve a sustainable civilization. Everything that you see happening in the background of this video here is what we're going to design and through that and involving more and more people to visit and operating as an ecotourism destination that will host eventually first hundreds, then thousands, eventually tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people coming through our ecotourism destination, learning how to do what it is that we're doing and implementing in their lives as either complete teacher demonstration hubs or just the individual components. Through doing that, we are simultaneously addressing all the challenges of this generation, generations come. We are addressing starvation. We are addressing homelessness. We are addressing social inequality and injustice. We are addressing the education, the quality of education. We are addressing economic models, the capitalist model to produce something better, looking at a resource-based economy and how you can implement that globally. We are addressing uh, balanced decision-making. You name it. All of these things we believe can be done better than they're being done right now. And we think through providing teacher demonstration hubs 
that provide people a way of living that is far superior to the way they're living right now, we really think the solution to everything is the solution to anything. And we think that we've touched on that. And we don't think it's our idea because we've run into lots of people. This, this quote comes from a book, actually, from Jack Reed, who is a co-author of The Next Evolution. And that book talks about this, and it's almost the identical idea to one community, but one community's idea was not born from that book. That book was read by me after I'd written the foundations of one community, and it was the same thing. Mind-blowing. It was probably one of the most uh, positive experiences of this project was to read somebody else, and Jack and his team spent two, three years coming up with their plan. I spent 15 years thinking about this before we actually launched the website, and then two years after that, or a year after that, I met Jack Reed, had a chance to talk to him, and we discussed how the solution to everything is a solution to anything, and realized that we'd come to the same conclusion from totally different places. And since then, I've met many, many, many others who agree and have said the same thing. Like, wow, you've got the same idea. I've been thinking about this forever. I think this is what we can do to transform the planet for everybody, to provide for everybody's needs, to truly create for the first time in the history of humanity a world that works for everyone. And we think that that is a noble goal. We think that is the best goal that we could come up with right now. We think that that is something worth striving for. And it is my legacy and the legacy that one community wants to leave to this planet is creating a sustainable world that will benefit everybody. We have the ability as a species to take care of our world. We can be stewards. We can do the right thing. We can take care of each other. And for the most part, the vast majority of us want to do that. And so we're creating a place where everybody's needs are truly, totally, and completely met. Money does not need to exist within the environment of one community, but it will generate enough revenue to be able to expand indefinitely, to help others expand as well. And in so doing, as we're doing that process, open sourcing and free sharing, every aspect of what it is that we're doing so others can replicate it as well, so they also can create environments where money need not exist within that environment. All needs are met by the collective and collaborative and cooperative group working together and generating enough revenue for them also to expand indefinitely or to continue to get out of debt or whatever their challenges are they're working on, generating the revenue to be able to address those challenges, meet their needs, invite other people to participate, and from that place of having 100% of their needs met and being completely free from debt, completely free from most of the challenges that most people are dealing with right now and having more free time to do what they want, we believe that enough people in that environment, and definitely our organization, will work towards helping share that environment, spreading this idea, modifying it, adapting it, evolving it to be even better, to meet even more people's needs, so that we can reach that tipping point necessary to achieve a sustainable civilization, a sustainable planet that will benefit everybody, and to simultaneously address homelessness, starvation, Injustice, uh, social injustice and inequality, education, economics, all of these things, war, poverty, crime, all of these. Why would you steal from somebody when you have enough? Why would you hurt somebody else when you live in an environment where there's no, there's no need for that? Why would you start a war when it's not necessary? Nobody needs to fight each other when everybody has enough, when there's no longer this situation where people are starving to death and they have no other choice but to fight for their own survival. What if we create environments that address that and not as humanitarian aid but as permanent settlements? and teach those people how to teach other people how to set themselves free too, and spread this idea across the world. So this is our idea for the solution to everything being the solution to anything. And with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal to create that. We're a nonprofit, all volunteer, unpaid team. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is Eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, returned to working on the Seven Villages online book. This week, we made minor updates to pages 14, 15, and 64, and began redoing the layouts for page 44. We also updated the Cobb Village Makerspaces images, as shown here. The core team also added the new Cobb Village Pod 3 images and complete Makerspaces equipment list to the website. You can see some of this work here.
And the core team successfully created this merge and render of all the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 landscaped areas, which you can now view on the site. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village AutoCAD layout updates. Here is update 103 of Dean's work, updating the bathroom designs and adjacent areas. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 47th week of work that created this updated AutoCAD export of the complete village and landscaping plan. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 17th week volunteering and began writing the narrative for the Treehouse Village Pod 7 cost analysis page. What you see here is a sample of this work in progress. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her seventh week working on the Treehouse Village residential designs. This week she continued working on the final texturing and lighting details for the interior. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed a thorough review of the first half of the city center structural engineering dead and live load report shown here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by updating the beam plan to reorientate the perimeter beams to address excessive overhang issues. Satya Shravindran, senior mechanical and industrial engineer, also completed his seventh week helping with the lead lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was a final review and round of edits to the case study section. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team began work on the complete highest good food rollout plan and cost analysis. What you see here are some of our initial design and outline notes developing behind the scenes. The core team also continued research and design of the open source climate battery designs. What you see here are the beginnings of the process of integrating climate batteries into the phase two food plans that include the aquapinis and wallapinis. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team returned to developing the lesson plans how-to tutorial page. We finished the Why Use the Lesson Plans for Life section, including sections on recreational application, homeschool application, and applications in private or traditional schools. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The highest good network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Pretty Kodari, Shubar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team added click-through options to access the profile page, added a counter display to the badges, and the default image display when no badges are earned yet. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of the solution to everything being the solution to anything because the solution to everything is the solution to anything, if it truly is the solution to everything. And we think that we've covered all bases, and even if we haven't, it doesn't particularly matter. We're gonna to continue to work forward to create the best world we possibly can, to create a world that works for everybody. And so we shoot for the stars, and if we only reach the moon, then that's okay. Our goals are grand, and we know that we're doing good things in the world, and through this, we can transform the planet. 
And so if you like more details, more specifics, more links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, check out our blog, check out our written blog, our weekly updates blog, check out our website, it's all there. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. The easiest way to help us, of course, is to join us on social media. Like this video, share our information on social media, go to our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, our Twitter page, our Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Instagram, Pinterest. We are on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Join us, follow our progress in whatever way works best for you. And if you're just an email person, or if you like email updates, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list and you can receive a weekly update with this link into it, these weekly updates every single week in your inbox. And of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the people who like and support our project through social media. Thank you if you're somebody who's donated to our project. We're 100% volunteer unpaid staff, so all your donations go to our website infrastructure and supporting our open source goals. They don't go to paychecks or wages for anybody. And uh, last but not least, thanks for watching to the end. We appreciate you. We love you. And uh, we'll work together to create a world that works for everybody. The solution to everything is the solution to anything. And that's what we're all about living and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet, doing our best to represent what that is. So that said, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.